Holy moly, look at the size of this Funko box. It's almost as big as the cat. No kidding. We better open it up and see what's in here. That's what Disco Skeletors. Big boxes. <laughs> Big boxes. All right, so let's cut them in. Pull it out. Let's look at it. It looks so cool. Oh my God, they're so big. This is what, your third 10 inch? And I always think I want them because they look so cool. And then we get them and like he looks really cool. But look how big he is. That's just huge. And see all the other ones that are part of the... And not only that, but I got another one right here. I'm not even going to crack this box open because there is no damage to this box. Except for this peeled back from the tape. So I know what's in here is in mint condition, and I'm not even going to open it. They're really cool, though. Yeah, they are really cool. They are really cool. So that's what we got from the Funko shop. But we also got a mail call, pick or a mail pickup, I guess, from Zanini. So we got a mail call from Zanini bag and envelope. and envelope not box even though that's what they're called um i cut both these open i they're two months we didn't do last month's i completely forgot they came and so we have two months here so we're each gonna do one of the bags okay so we cut them open and we'd like to tell you what you can get as you can go down i got i got june's bag I got July. Okay. You got July already? That's what it says. Alright. Alright. Show off your first pin. Here yeah, we got Pinhead as part of the basics. Who are you calling Pinhead? <laughs> what? I'm pretty sure that's not how Pinhead sounds. That's how Patrick um, sounds. I have. Oh, Patrick. This is T800. I guess that's from Terminator. Yeah. Probably. Uh, next one we have Garfield. Oh, my lasagna, John. Alright, then we have Dungeons and Dragons. You have the Dungeon Master. Dungeon Master. So that one's really cool. Hey, I think you got the cooler bag. Got Duke Nukem here to kick ass and chew bubble gum, and I'm all out of gum. <laughs> all right, well then I got Master Chief from Halo. Doesn't say Halo, but I know that. That is the basic plan for me. And that was the basic plan for me. So for standard plan, I have Scarlet. I have Scarlet from GI Joe, because knowing's half the battle. <laughs> no way to tap the battle. <clears throat> I got Have No Fear because Batman is here. Which is better. I, I don't think that's how it goes. Have No Fear, Batman is no, here. No, you want fear when Batman's here because he won't kick your butt. <laughs> oh. And then that's it for standards. And then I'm guessing they have a new premium one and it looks like it's Marvel. As oh, because it was DC, right? Yes, yeah, you have the last DC one. Or, no, you have the last Star Wars one. Oh, okay. 
And so I oh, have. Right. DC is the second one. Iron Man. And I have the one and only Yoda. I am. Boomer Yoda. Boomer Yoda. So, so that's pretty cool. Um, actually. I think I got some really cool pins in my set. Yeah. I got the T the, from the Terminator, which is okay. But then I got um, the Dungeon and Dragon one. I got a Halo one. I got a Batman and a Yoda. I mean, I got four amazing pins. The first one, yeah, if you like Terminator, but I got four amazing pins. I got Iron Man. <clears throat> I know. You got, well, you got Garfield, too. We may not like the other one so much, but come on, that's Garfield. Yeah, I'm keeping three of these. Which three are you keeping? Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, which three from your set are you keeping? From my set? Yeah. One. Oh. Well, let me see if there's something I want to trade you. Uh, what do you want for Garfield? Uh, Master Chief. Well, you don't have Master Chief. All right. Do you want Pinhead? I could gift Pinhead. I'll give you... I want Dungeon Master. Alright, because I'll gift Pinhead to somebody. Alright, I got the three I wanted. Did you? Yep. Iron Man, <laughs> Master Chief, and the Dungeon Master. So, there we go. We just traded pins and... Oh, I also got an extra little backer. Oh. We traded pins and he got the ones he wanted and I have a few over here I want. So, now on to the cards. Okay, so now we're back with the Zanini Envelope. Which are pretty amazing cards. We got one as a sample, and after we had the sample, we're like, wait, these are pretty neat. So we went ahead and we grabbed um, these. And they already come in their protector sheet and everything. Here I got X-Man. Um, let's see, X-Man 1, 1995. This is pretty cool. You see right there? And then on the back, it has the list and a barcode you can scan with your phone. That'll give you, what was it, an online book last time, I think? It takes you to Amazon to where you can buy the book. Yeah. Or whatever item it is. So this one I have, DC Universe Rebirth Batman card. June 15, 2016. It has like the cover artist, the writer, as well as like a place for signatures. Oh yeah. Yeah, I forgot to mention that. That's what that's really cool. Yeah. And these are really easy to carry, like if you're going to a con on the chance that you're not gonna really pay to meet somebody, like certain people, but if you run into them either there or somewhere else, you know, boom, these cards are easy to have. You know. Gonna Funko Pop, you know. Um, I got Thanos number one. This one is from 2016. It's also a Marvel Comics. Um, I think the cover on this one's really cool. I really like this cover. Yeah, that one's really cool. And I have Back to the Future. So this is a movie one. And then the back looks like, you know, the clagger. And has a QR code, which I guess will take you to where you can buy the movie. Which you shouldn't need to. You should already have the box set of Back to the Future. <laughs> because he does. Um, this one here is for The Godfather. Which, you know, this movie is from 1972. Um, it's Paramount Pictures. It has the little barcode, which probably takes you to where you can purchase the movie. But this movie, yeah. This was pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. All right. And I have Russell Crowe in A Beautiful Mind, another movie from 2001. Okay, so I've had these in Pops. I've struggled to get rid of them in Pops. Um, it's Cuphead, Don't Deal with the Devil. The it's, video game. Is Cuphead, um, a child's thing? No. No? No. 
Really? Yeah. Oh. Okay, well, I wouldn't know that. You literally deal, um, deal with the devil and then you have to kill people. September 29th, 2017 was the release date for this God, multiplayer game. Um, there's a barcode maybe where you can get it online or something. Do you um, know which one Cuphead is? The red one. You're correct. The yeah. blue one is Mugman. Okay, yeah. His brother. I never realized. I thought this was always kid-oriented. Nope. Alrighty then. And then this one, we have The Outer Worlds. It's another video game released in October of last year, 2019, by Obsidian Entertainment. This was one of the most disappointing games Obsidian's ever made. Doing almost all the side objectives, I beat it within 30 hours. I think I didn't pay for it. Wow. Alright, so this one is for Lost. Season 1. The complete first season. This says that that was in 2005. There were 24 episodes. And they won 9 Emmy Awards. Wow. That's pretty good. I never watched Lost. 2005? I tried to. There's a reason why it's called Lost. Five minutes and you're lost. You have no <laughs> idea what's going on. <laughs> Probably. But like either way, tree, that's man. really cool. And a good thing like this one, this could go for multiple things. Like somebody that um, produced the movie or did something, anything in the movie. Could have done, they could have been the caterer. You don't know. But they still were involved in the movie, so. TV show. Yeah, you know, the TV show. So, you know, you can have them sign. But same thing for the movie ones. Yeah. You know, I know this one's TV, but like some of these are movies or a game. Anybody involved in the game. And, um... So that's pretty cool. Like I said, they come in this sleeve already that has nine slots. And you can see through on both sides. And um, this is the second wave? Yes. Yeah. So I just need to get a notebook so we can keep them in there. We kind of went back and forth on if we're going to keep them all or if we're going to do like the pins and just keep the ones we want. Um, we haven't decided yet. So at this point in time, we are going to keep them all. And then if we change our mind down the road, we'll go from there. Yeah. All right? All right, so we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here the world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me We meant to be In the great outdoors Forever free Don't forget to like Comment, subscribe, and hit the bell. From GI. <laughs> That'll be in the end. That'll be in the end. That'll be in. Be like Stretch Armstrong. Right, here's my toes.